So a lot of people have asked us to review a less expensive projector, so here we go. The Dangby Atom, a 1080p, 1200 ISO lumen DLP projector that is powerful, compact, and still has features like Google TV with Netflix and game mode. So that's it, video's over. I'm kidding, we're actually gonna go over some content, we're gonna show some sports, some movies, even some gaming. But first, let's talk more about the Dangby Atom, which is actually set up right next to me and projecting behind me, where we've had some very expensive projectors in here doing the same thing. And I'll be honest, this Dangby Atom is doing a fantastic job in this brighter room. So let's talk about the unboxing first. The form factor of this Dangby Atom is very unique. It kind of looks like a media box, so it does not seem like they'd be able to pack as much tech into this as they do, but I really like the build quality and the feel to the Atom. On the front, you have the quartz fly-eye lens. The quartz can withstand higher temperatures over glass, and the fly-eye is just the way that the lens is aligned to even out the light from the projector. And next to that, you have the multi-point DTOF and CMOS module, which is in charge of the distance imaging so you can get the auto keystone and the auto focus. Again, it just looks really cool how they can fit this all into a smaller form factor. And on the side, you see Dolby Audio, and it looks very clean, but the two five watt speakers seem to play just out of one side of the projector. And the sound is fine, but I think people would prefer a audio system connected to it, which this can do, because on the back, you have an HDMI input that also is ARC compatible, which is the audio return channel. So if you wanna connect this to a soundbar or a system, you can with high quality audio, which I think is important. And you also have a 3.5 millimeter connection and USB. Then on the bottom, you have the quarter inch thread, which is quite handy, and we'll show you how we used it in a second on some light stands to make it even more portable, but you can also wall or ceiling mount this projector as well. And of course, in the box, you have the power cord adapter, the remote, and some instructions. The remote is pretty straightforward, but solid for a budget-friendly projector like this. It's set up with the directional pad and the back button in sort of a standard position on remotes these days, and has some quick buttons like YouTube, Netflix, and Prime Video. And on the side, there's some quick action buttons to access access settings to manually focus if needed and to mute the sound. So overall, it's a nice remote. And even though it's not included, we got this little fantastic case for the Dangby Atom. The unit fits perfectly inside and still has room for the accessories in the zip pocket. We have a lot of projectors and having a carrying case is a huge bonus and I'd highly recommend that you get it if you're buying the Dangby Atom. Now, how does the content look? Well, having Google TV is a really nice start. It is my favorite operating system and it has Netflix built in, which is different than a lot of Android operated systems that did not have the Netflix license. So you'd have to start off by buying another device or connecting something else just to get Netflix, which I think is probably the most common app that we use on a regular basis. So not only does it have Netflix, but it also has over 10,000 apps, 700,000 plus movies and shows from Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, and more. So it's my favorite operating system, as I had said. And I also like that I can watch a program or a movie on one TV in another room and then come in here and it knows right Right where I left off, can pick it up. So I'm a big fan of Google TV. And honestly, this runs as good, as smooth, as fast as any of the other TVs that have this. So, you know, another great benefit in the Dangby Adam, in my opinion. So the first thing that we went to when checking out content was basketball because it's playoff time and that's the sort of thing I'm into. And to be honest, sports looks fantastic on it. Most of the stuff is already streamed in 1080 or 720 and upscaled into 4K on some of those devices, on some of the TVs that we look at. And I'll be honest, this at 1080p on 120, inch looks fantastic. I really don't notice any drop off. I think it looks pretty sharp on this really large screen. And overall, we didn't notice any motion issues or any speckling. So for me, I feel like I'm just watching TV in here. And to be able to project it up onto this large screen like this makes it very immersive. A lot of the highlights that we're looking at right now were with the lights off, but with the lights on, it still looks very good in this room. I don't think there's a big drop off either way and it's very watchable. So I'm pretty impressed with how sports look. Again, good motion. It's very sharp at this size, you know, with lights on or lights off, it's still very bright and colorful. So overall, I'm very happy with regards to watching sports or regular content. Now watching movies is another benchmark and often we check out Avatar Way of Water because it has a lot of very detailed scenes where we have very bright highlights or it's very dark and there's some specular highlights. And to be honest, this looks fantastic. Blue looks really good on this projector. I mean, there is a lot of blue in Avatar Way of Water, but you guys all know that. And when I'm watching the most expensive 4K projectors, I feel this is doing a very good job in comparison, seeing that it's a lot less expensive and it's 1080p resolution. Now it's not as bright as the best TVs we get in the house, 
But if you want to be fair and you want to be accurate, when you guys go into a movie theater, I don't think that it looks as bright as this does here in the house. So for me, it's one of those things where I'm saying in a dark room, if I'm watching this on a 100 or a 120 inch screen, I'm very happy with the brightness level, how sharp it is, and that I can see all the different highlights. Now it can go all the way from 40 up to 180 inch screen size. It says that it's made for about 60 to 100 inch, but this is 120 inch screen in here. And I think it's just fine. I've heard some people think that over 100 would be too much, but I disagree. I do think that the smaller you go, the better it's gonna look and the brighter it's gonna look, but I think it's just fine for 120 inch screen size. And again, for me to be able to see this on 120 inch this size for this price, it's fantastic. So much so that in some Luca footage that we also test, there's a couple scenes that are crazy bright. When we're watching the kids go through this scene where they're going through the cornfields, the yellow in this looks so bright, it's like blinding in the room here. And again, it does look like this on a lot of the TVs. It's a bright scene, but this is reproducing some high level brightness with some fantastic color on movies that are in HDR. And I think it looks fantastic. The same goes for when we're watching the scene here where it gets dark. A lot of the times when we're watching this on TVs that have local dimming zones, you aren't able to see the actual stars in the background because those dimming zones are sort of taking down those highlights. But I can see all the stars in this. And again, when you're talking about a budget-friendly projector that's able to recreate this scene, show all the stars and yet have good contrast, I'm very impressed. And I do think it's an opportunity to talk about the technology. This is an ALPD, Advanced Laser Phosphorus Display. So it's a very cutting edge laser projection technology that offers high brightness. It has no speckles or color fringing. In layman's terms, it looks great. And it keeps looking that way for up to 30,000 hours. So 30,000 hours is a long time. You can watch like 15,000 movies in that time. Well, only 2,500 if you're watching The Godfather or Lord of the Rings trilogy. And actually you can watch all eight seasons of Game of Thrones 428 times. I mean, you could probably watch it even more if you skip season eight, because it wasn't that great, but you get the point. I mean, 30,000 hours is much longer than lamp projectors that typically get you about 10% of that time. And the Dangby Atom can also do 3D that looks really good. We actually have a lot of 3D capable devices in the house. Most of the time, the projectors are able to do 3D from a media stick or random YouTube videos that have side-by-side -side or top and bottom 3D. But the Atom can actually play 3D Blu-rays and it has an option in the menu to do this. Now you do have to reset the keystone, which is something I have not talked about yet. So let me back up for a second. The Dengby Atom does have auto keystone and auto screen fit and auto focus. So those are three really awesome features. So the actual Dengby Atom is offset right now. And when we moved it, it just auto focuses back up to where it's projecting. There is a feature where you can set it up to auto keystone upon movement as well, which would be nice. And then lastly, you just auto screen fit. So then it throws up this little image that helps it figure out where the screen is and boom, it pops right into place. So all those are fantastic options and it's really easy to do this when you move it, when you set it up. But when you're doing 3D, you do lose some of that stuff. You lose the screen fit. So now when you're doing 3D, it actually defaults back to where it was. So it would be better to have it straight on if you're watching 3D content, but it's very usable 3D. It looks quite nice. And it is really cool that it has the options to do all three 3D types, but really to be able to have a 3D Blu-ray connected to it is really cool. I like that. And last but not least, gaming on the Dagby Atom. So game mode actually does 1080 at 60 frames. And there's very little lag to be honest. We've had a lot of short and long throw projectors that have lag to the point where gameplay is unusable, especially if you're playing at a high frame rate or games that require you to be quick. There really is no lag. I mean, you can notice, you know, if you're getting shot before you can even turn, you know that there's lag. In this instance, we're doing really well, not having issues with that sort of thing. And it's fun to play games. Again, very large and immersive screen. So you have the best of all worlds here, HDMI input, you have 3D, you have gameplay, all doing very well on the Dangby Atom. And just in case you missed some of the specs, I'm gonna go over the most important features. The Dangby Atom is a 1080p DLP laser projector that has 1200 ISO lumen and lasts up to 30,000 hours of use. It has HDR10, HLG, it does 3D even from a Blu-ray player, and it can project from 40 up to 180 inches, but is meant for around 60 to 100 inches. I feel it does quite well on the 120 inch ALR screen here in the studio. It has autofocus, auto keystone, and auto intelligent 
fit, two 5 watt speakers with Dolby Digital and Dolby Digital Plus sound, HDMI with ARC and 3.5 millimeter output with two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, which come in really handy for that Google operating system. And I'm really impressed that Dang B can pack all of that into this compact and well-built projector. If you wanna learn more about the Dang B Atom, check out the links in the description below and consider picking up one of the new Dang B Atoms. And I wanna thank Dang B for sending this out to us for review. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.